Delgado has been probably one of the best, if not the best goalkeeper in this tournament. That position might be up for grabs as Avi Lennon has, does a great job of switching. Noel Delgado went in the opposite direction and it's the U.S. with a 1-0 advantage. It was a confidently taken kick and he left no doubt in his mind or his teammates. That's a boost to the U.S. Coming up for Honduras, it'll be Jorge Alvarez, Jonathan Klinsman, getting ready. Let's see what Alvarez can do. The Alvarez going in the direction he was intended to. Klinsman dope to his right. First kicks, the goalkeeper has gone one way and the ball the other on both. Probably the two key players for their respective teams in this tournament, Lennon and Alvarez, get their squad off to strong penalty kick starts. Here comes Coy Kraft. Was back on top. Kraft, slow build up, and again switching sides. Good strategy by the young man from FC Dallas. Well taken penalty. Blasted into the left side of the net. We didn't see the rest of the replay there, but the second straight confidently taken kick by the U.S. Douglas Martinez coming up for Honduras, looking to even things up again. Douglas Martinez has one goal in this tournament. He scored in the 47th minute of the 4-1 win over Antigua and Barbuda. Here's Martinez, roofing it. Very well taken penalty kick so far. Wait, let's see. Four, one, and yeah. we want to see who can hold the nerves. Emmanuel Sabi coming up. Now, will he try and switch it like the rest of his teammates have so far? Seems like a good strategy. Sabi puts it right through. He does switch it, and it's 3 0. Excuse me, 3 2. And Honduras with. Slim Grant coming up for Los Catrachos. This time, Neuer Delgado guessed, but it took him a bit too much time to turn. And it'll be Foslin Grant. There's no shortage of belief in Emmanuel Sabe. Yep. It shows right there. And with every passing penalty kick, the goal seems to get smaller and smaller for the, for the takers. See what happens here with Foslin Grant. Again, three all. Well, it's so, really good to see with the stakes so high how there's such conviction in each one of these attempts. Uh, they know exa they know exactly where they want to put it. That there's no doubt about it. Luca de la Torre. Boston Grant wants to keep an eye on for the future. Noyer Delgado. Now, Luca de la Torre switch it to the right. Does. And Honduras now going with their fourth penalty kick. Up 4-3 right now. 
as we mentioned earlier, De La Torre scored against Honduras in the 2015 U17 CONCACAF Championship. He does it here in an albeit a different way. Still doing his thing as Rembrandt Flores. Setting up. That's quite a run there. Rembrandt Flores skies it over. Way too much of a run. Way too much of a run. And here it is. History. Just moments away from being made. The destiny lying on the foot of Dania Costa. Rembrandt Flores just beside himself. Here's the opportunity of a lifetime as the United States getting set. Noir Delgado wanting to get in there. Dania Costa straight ahead. Here it is. Acosta. And, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. On 23 attempts it took to finally capture some silverware at the under-20 CONCACAF championship. And the U.S. does it on penalty kicks against Honduras. And what I hate to even remind you of this, but Rembrandt Flores missed the penalty kick against Mexico in a 1-0 loss. And unfortunately,